Welcome back to Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. We are live from the Manhattan Center here on 34th Street, and we are thrilled to be joined by Matt Costa. Matt, welcome. Hello. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. Um, You are celebrating the release of your first studio album in five years, which we are going to get into in a minute. But I thought we would just start this whole thing off with a little bit of music since we have some people listening, watching. Uh, You want to play a song for us? Sure, yeah. This is a tune called I Remember It Well. And it's the first song off of my uh, new record. So we'll start with that one. I remember when you were a mess Said we'd look back then on all love is You hiding in the bush and you crying in your cup I picked you up and knew just what to do Do you remember when we were happy again? Just to be friends, but all good things must end How I lied on one dark night Said you'd hold it against me For the rest of my life I remember it well I remember it well I remember it well, so well, so well. And I remember when, when we'd walk down St. John Street. Before the trees grew tall Before their fruits were ripe But now you're like Some very rare wine You bottled up And the grapes cut from the vine I remember it well I remember it well I remember it well So well So well I remember it I remember it I remember it so That was awesome. Thanks very much. Matt Costa joining us. Um, it is uh, it is album release day for you today. Surely is. It is. Santa Today's Rosa day. Fangs is out officially, um, much to the joy of your fans, and I'm sure much to the joy of you, right? Oh, yeah. Exciting yeah, times. I, uh, I was up uh, last night at when the clock struck 12. Yeah. And there it was. I got some texts from my friend saying it was, it was up, so that was exciting. And, and it's good to wake up to as well, you know, have Absolutely. the songs out in the world now, existing. 
yeah. with all the other songs. <laughs> yeah. um, the album has been described by some as a concept album. Would you agree with that with that description? And if so, can you tell us a little bit about what that means to you? Yeah. Well, uh, it, in a way, is it is. You know, I've sort of developed these sort of characters that I weave myself in and out of my own storyline and some family threads and uh, some fictional elements. But it's mostly just, um, you know, uh, it's a story. Like any, I think any, any, uh, any song that I've been drawn to, there's there's some story behind it. And uh, so this one is centered around Sharon and her two brothers, and and sort of spanning up and down the California coast. Uh, and that's where I grew up. And so I took little bits and pieces of uh, of my own California history and my own feelings that I got from growing up there. And uh, and these characters, uh, Sharon and Richie and Tony, they just sort of developed from that. And there's a little bit of me and all of them and a little bit of uh, all of them and me. So Very cool. And uh, Santa Rosa Fangs, the title of the album, um, What is where does that come from? Where's, what's the fangs part? Santa Rosa Fangs, yeah. Well, it's these memories that stick themselves into you. Oh. And uh, whether you... Uh, you know, sometimes you don't, you don't have a choice. They stick themselves into you, and then they shape who you are in the future. And uh, so that's where the fangs come from. Cool. You want to tell us a little bit about the next song you're going to play? Yeah. This one is, uh, let's see, this one's called Time Tricks. And, uh, yeah, it's about how, uh, how sometimes time always can play tricks on us. You think you're in one time and really you're in another and uh, you wake up one day and uh, you're in a different place in your life. And and uh, so that's what this one's called, Time Tricks, and it's basically about that. I was obsessed with the, you know, the idea of time for a while there and as many artists and things go through that and the concept of it. And it's, uh, it's pretty simple, so. Here it goes. Do you think about me now that I am gone? Is your life without me? Is it is it better off? When you think about love, does it rain or does it shine? I still think about you Though it's been a long time So please don't answer If I try to call And please don't mention Our, our love at all Once we shared a feeling But those feelings have all gone I still think about you Though it's been so long Well, it's time, time, time Playing tricks on my mind Oh, it's time, time, time Playing tricks on my mind Just when I think I forgot you it might be the way that the sun it hit her face Or maybe it's the walking through an old familiar place That makes me think about you and it just boils up in my mind Do you think about me though it's been a long time well, it's time, time, time Playing tricks on my mind Always time, time, time Playing tricks on my mind Just when I think I forgot you How do you think about me 
Now that I am gone Is your life without me? Is it, is it better off? Oh, when you think about love Does it rain or does it shine? See, I still think about you Though it's been such a long time Well, it's time, time, time Playing tricks on my mind Oh, it's time, time, time Playing tricks on my mind Just when I think I forgot you Thank you. So, Matt, um, on this record, you worked with uh, Peter Matthew Bauer from The Walkman and Nick Stump from, from French Kicks. They, they co-produced it. Um, what was that process like, and did it, did it help you with the um, just kind of getting out of your system the songs that you needed to? And was it different from self-producing your records? Yeah. Well, uh, it came about in a, in a pretty organic way. The last, I try to flip flop when I work on records, you know, whether I work with a producer and then do some self producing and then, uh, and then work with the producer again, because I find that uh, you you learn a lot, or I've learned a lot working with producers and different ways of coming, coming into an idea or working around an idea, and um, and so when I had these batch of songs, I talked with Pete Pete Bauer about it. And uh, and he kind of helped me sort of keep the songs, uh, I don't know, help make them more potent, you know, sort mm -hmm. of put a little, put more, more of a, you know, a punch into them. Mm -hmm. And so he brought uh, Nick Stumpf along to do some engineering and he was going to do some drumming and stuff too. So he drummed on the record or played drums on the record. And uh, yeah, I was a fan of both of their music, and you know, uh, for a long time. So to work with them was really cool and inspiring, and and I think it helped some of the songs definitely take a shape that they wouldn't have. Um, and I'm really really proud of it for that reason. There's a song called uh, "Real Love," which was sort of like a acoustic number, that it was a five four sort of picking thing, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and so I, we kind of I brought up to them about maybe just making it into a full blown, more of a rock song, but keeping the dreamy quality that uh, that I thought it had. And so that's one that I was really uh, really proud of that they had a, you know I felt like I couldn't have done on my own without them. And but that sort of thread is throughout the record. And so for that reason, it was a nice collaboration. Yeah. So having some some sort of an outside perspective um, helps you get outside yourself a little bit. I would imagine and. Yeah, yeah, and also I just really trust those guys. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I was working, you get so in, yeah, you get so in the middle of it that you can't really tell which way stuff is going. Yeah, and so especially you know I work up many different versions of a song or something. Some of the songs I worked up like eight different versions or things like that, and then you know at that point you have to surrender. Yeah. You have to surrender to the song or surrender to someone mm -hmm. who has a, you know, an, a great idea to the song. And, and for me, it was, you know, I trusted them in this process. Yeah. So it's been it's been five years since your last studio album. Um, presumably, you haven't just been hanging out for five years. I know you've been super busy with other projects. Yeah. Um, uh, namely, the you did the score for Orange Sunshine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did that. I was basking in the orange sunshine that whole time. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, I worked on that. I, I did a, a f that film score, which is really, which is really uh, great to work on. Helped me sort of uh, spread out some of my ideas. Mm -hmm. Think, think, uh, moving ideas into a larger space, and also kind of step out of the way and not be the, uh, not be a, you know, a, like attached to being a singer, mm. you know, sort of singer singing my songs I let the movie be the front person and so that was kind of nice to not have to uh, always be the one up there delivering the song I could think about it in another way and just support it and I think a lot of that went into making this record too mm -hmm. that's how I could think about um, 
I came with that new new ammo. So I'd always been I've always been a visual person when I write songs. Mm-hmm. When I strike when the image strikes in my mind about what a song should be, then I go with it. And so that's why this uh, record has more of that s- sort of a cinematic um, you know concept to it. There's a storyline like that. So I imagine the sort of the film of Santa Rosa Fangs in you know, and then I wrote the soundtrack to it in that way. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. You want to play us another song from the record? Yeah, this one's called uh, what's this one called? It's called Sharon, and I did a music video for this one in uh, in a uh, it was in a pool that had mermaids in it, and uh, and there was a gold suit that I uh, came across luckily. And uh, yeah, it's called Sharon. And if you want to learn more about Sharon, you can watch that video too. Sweet. All right. She's going out tonight. See her aquarium friends. Amongst the buffoons and the bogarts. She's strung out again She knows not what she does She knows not how she feels She don't know if she's living or dying The pocket's full of pills She's colder than the coast of Maine Sharon on a snowy winter's day Sharon, she cut you like she cut me Sharon, and send you raging on the scene Sharon Sharon, Sharon, Sharon Sharon, Sharon Sharon, Sharon, Sharon seen you make arrangements with all the lawyers at the bar I know you're going through those changes oh I know you're going through those changes and I see you going through those changes gone 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 and still your daddy pays your rent she knows now what she does and she knows not how she feels she don't know if she's living or dying Her pocket's full of pills She's colder than the coast of Maine Sharon on a summer winter's day Sharon, she cut you like she cut me Sharon, and send you raging on the sea Sharon Sharon, Sharon, Sharon Sharon, Sharon Sharon, Sharon, Sharon I love that song. So good. Thanks very much. Um, congratulations again, Santa Rosa Fangs out today. Um, you're also you're playing a show in Brooklyn at Rough Trade on Tuesday. Tuesday is the day. Tuesday I'll be, is the I'll day. I'll be right here at Rough Trade. Cannot wait for and all the kind people. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you're watching, listening, and you're not in the city, and you want to see Matt uh, Matt play a show, uh, you're going on tour, and all the tour dates are available over at mattcosta.com. They're at mattcosta.com. They're all over the web. You know, you go on the website, you type in tour. Or the internet, that sort of stuff. They're all over the internet. It's magic. Yeah. Well, congrats again, and thank you so much for being here. Cool. Uh, We'll see you next time. All right. Thanks very much for having me, and thanks for.